Hello and welcome to the Great Buy Blu-ray pickup video for the month of March 2020 and I'm gonna do it a little bit different I'm actually gonna go in reverse order so from the most recent pickup to the beginning of March essentially um, and the end of the month you've probably already seen the video was the horror pack pickup so that included the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray of Rewind. The Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Rooster Teeth's Bloodfest. Land of the Dead. And Accidental Exorcist. Then Leslie, the lovely Leslie, managed to find on... Uh, what was it? Marketplace? Yes. Yeah, a Marketplace on Facebook. Uh, somebody who was essentially getting rid of some of their DVDs, you know, and it's spring, people are spring cleaning, so it's not all too, you know, odd to think that people will be getting rid of DVDs, especially in this digital streaming universe. What was so good about this particular one was all the DVDs were one dollar. Hmm? So, she sent me a list actually I already had one of the things that she wanted to get so it was like we saved a dollar um, but out of the stuff that the lady had she had a whole bunch of Saturday Night Live DVDs so we got the best of Adam Sandler one dollar <laughs> the best of Dana Carvey the best of Michael Myers the best of Edward Murphy and Saturday Night Live's 25th anniversary. So these were all used, but for a dollar, can't go wrong, right? And to boot, brand new factory sealed first season of Criminal Minds. Yes, I I think I've seen a couple of episodes of this. Uh, I think my mom actually watched this a bit, but this is right up you know, Leslie's Alley, so that she was all over this, right? And unfortunately, we looked through, well, I looked through, and she obviously sent me what she wanted um, from this particular person. Um, and I looked through it to see if there was anything else, but the rest of it was either stuff I already owned, or, I mean, I just didn't really want the DVD, but at a dollar a pop, Leslie hit the jackpot. Love that. Love it. So these, you know, especially a, you know, we're stuck inside, gotta watch stuff. It it helps when you can <laughs> add, you know, a full season of television to your your binge watch. Um, then I got Sit Package before that, which was from uh, Diabolic DVD. So this particular one here was a bunch of stuff I had ordered when they announced the release of the free maker exclusive to Diabolic DVD with a slipcover, so I grabbed that, and then there was a bunch of other limited editions I had to pick up, including Aero Video's American Werewolf in London, Aero Video's Beyond the Door, and then I had to get this because it's awesome, and hopefully I'll be able to get Leslie to watch it. She loves ghosts. But she's not too big on Japanese ghosts. But, uh, yes. The One Missed Call Trilogy. This one is nice. It has a slip cover and everything. So, that's awesome. Then, uh, you may have seen the video. You may not. But I got some stuff from Full Moon for their um, Valentine's Day sale. Uh, which included the DVD of Zambo. Which was free. Though I technically had to pay shipping. Um, from Wally Mart, uh, we had been discussing. Leslie, uh, had, I think she asked if I had the Green Mile, and for, I, I'm, I thought I did, but it's not in any of my lists. So if I do, I have no idea where it was. And we were at Walmart and happened to be, you know, as always, going through the media section, and right there. For five dollars the green mile <laughs> so we picked it up because you know we wanted we had this hankering to watch the green mile so why not right 
<laughs> Grabbed it then and there. Then, uh, oddly enough, another Facebook Marketplace purchase from somebody I'd actually purchased stuff from before. If you saw, I don't know if it was two months ago, the gigantic DVD pickup from somebody. Um, well, he was giving, he, he wasn't giving away, but he was essentially giving away almost. Um, brand new DVDs, horror DVDs. And I was like, you know what? I have some of them. Um, but there's too many of them there that I want. And his price essentially was too good to be true. So I got eight brand new factory sealed DVDs for 10 bucks, which included Stakeland 2. Silent Retreat, which I already have. Poker Night. Night of the Lone Wolf. Uh, Starry Eyes, which I believe I have a copy of somewhere, but this one came with a slipcover, so that's awesome. Uh, Puppet Master 3, which I have on Blu-ray and DVD. In I have it in multiple versions. Um, but the two things that I really, really wanted to get was the Horror Box presents in association with Eli Roth Choose Their Kill Season 1 for Crypt TV which I think I have an open version of and the Horror Block presents Horror Block Short Film Festival 2015 in association with Room Works so some short films, some of which I've actually already seen, which is kind of cool but I don't think I've seen all of them and either way I love getting short film releases because they hardly ever get a release. You hardly ever see them. If you go to a festival, you might see them. The odd time they're online, and outside of that, it's it's like, pff, been there, done that, they're gone. You just don't get to see them. So I like to have them because if you ever want to check them out again, you can. And if you ever want to check them out for the first time, you can. Right? <laughs> That's the beauty of owning stuff. And before that, I got Miss of a Package. And this package came from Vinegar Syndromus. Um, I do have the yearly subscription. So uh, this is my first of this year. This is, I think I selected the quarterly shipping so it'd be cheaper. Um, and it's, it's odd, this is the first time I've ever done it. So it's a matter of trying to keep track of what I actually am getting and what I'm not getting because sometimes there's a title that they release and you think oh I'm gonna get that but then you you don't and with this quarterly release thing happening um yeah <laughs> it's possible I could completely miss the title but I got Zombie Island Massacre Flesh Eating Mothers Extro 3 Hollywood Horror House Deadline and Olivia and then I threw on from their I don't even remember what this was Valentine's Day sale or some sale uh, a limited edition only or released never to be seen again Hell Riders number 416 of 3000 though I, I don't know did they even sell all 3000 copies I don't know but grab that then I also got another package, and this one's from Scream Factory, I believe, or Shout Factory, depending on how you can see. And obviously, with that size, you know it's got some posters in it, right? Yes, it does have posters. It's supposed to come in big boxes like this. And I got two of them. So if you've been following Shout Factory or Scream Factory's releases, you can probably figure out what these are. They are full of Shout Factory paper. But the first one up is April Fool's Day. Yes, had to grab that with poster. And then the other one, again, full of Shout Factory paper. This is actually a Shout Factory release because I had to have it. Fred Savage in The Wizard. I don't know, there was something about this movie. It was just magical growing up. I, I, Nintendo, love it, but also got the, you know, poster to go along with it, which is kind of cool. I like it. I like it. Very cool. And then moving on from that, whoo, from the Disney Movie Club, because apparently I did not say, um, don't send me this. Uh, I think the pro 
partially because the problem is, is I can't even get into my account. Um, I don't know, they've messed things up and I've tried contacting them and whatever. But uh, yeah, the 4K release of Frozen 2, which we've watched. Nowhere near as good as Frozen 1, that's for sure. And then what is this? Oh! Another horror pack. This was the late one. <laughs> this one was late to the party. Uh, this was the uh, February one, which arrived in March. Drag Me to Hell. The Darkness. The limited edition from Horror Pack, Clickbait, and Elizabeth Harvest. And then before that, I picked up another package from... Uh, what is it? Show Factory. Another Show Factory release. Uh, this was a lot of a lot of the stuff that's been if you've been following a lot of the their titles are going out of print this year. So I picked up Alienator. Dance Macabro. Candyman Farewell to the Flesh, the collector's edition of Lake Placid, which I still need the slip cover for. Virus, which is awesome. The collector's edition of Vampires, which did come with a slipcover, which is awesome. And then the collector's edition of Candyman, which did not. So I also need that slipcover. If you have them, let me know. We'll hook something up. Then from Walmart, uh, a well-go release. So it was 15 bucks. Had to grab it. We got the Witch Subversion. And then I was at Dollarama. Oddly enough, they actually had titles that I, I, well, most of the Dollaramas are kind of picked clean. There's no real DVDs or Blu-rays or CDs or anything in there other than stuff that's been there for like years. Uh, but this one I picked up five titles. Three dollars a pop. I got 13. Getting the glare going here. Got, this one I was surprised. I had to grab it. St. Agatha. Holly Berry and... Dark Tide. We got Michael J. White and Steve Austin in Chain of Command. Sorry, man. Michael J. White, he just does not get enough credit. He should have been in so many more things. And then, because it's awesome, we've got Assassin's Creed Lineage. Yeah. Three bucks, yes. And then again, from Walmart... Early on in the month, they released this particular thing from Wellgo, which is an animated film. Never heard of it. Don't know anything about it, but at $15. Actually, this was a little bit pricier than that. I think it was $17. Um, but I had to get it anyways. It's a rip-roaring ride. It's Neza. Or Nezha. Or ne Neza. I have no idea. How, how are you supposed to pronounce that? But it's Choose Your Destiny. Looks, looks fun friendly by the looks of it I don't know and finally finally I think it's finally um, at the beginning of the month I went to Giant Tiger and figured you know what I'll take a peek in there see if they have anything new or anything interesting and yeah lucked out lucked out first from DVDs we got for $2.99 Sinbad and the Minotaur from a House on Willow Street. I've seen that film. Um, Viking Quest and Jim Caviezel's Long Weekend. I figured three bucks for them. Why not, right? And then at four ninety nine, got some Blu-rays here. We got uh, Seventh Moon. <laughs> the Gambler with Kenny Rogers. Hello, yes, gotta have that in my collection. Uh, surprised to see this. Intruders, yes. And then finally, for $6.99, the 3D Blu ray release of Maya the Bee, the movie. So, yes, a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, all sorts of great 
variety. We got horror, we got sci-fi, we got action, we got DVDs, we got Blu-rays, we got 3D, we got non-3D, we got slip covers, we got independent releases, we got major studio releases, we got so much going on, and this is only like a quarter of what I picked up. But yes, let me know down below if you grabbed any of these titles, what you think of them. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Was it worth it? Do you think I, I made a mistake? Let me know. Comment down below. Love to hear from you. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.